Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, a seminal book that invites readers on a transformative journey toward creative self discovery and artistic empowerment. Published in 1994, it continues to be a vital source of inspiration and guidance for those looking to overcome creative blocks and unleash their true artistic potential. Author Julia Cameron, known for her prolific contributions to the creative world as a poet, playwright, fiction writer, essayist, and award-winning journalist, elucidates a 12-week program designed to break down the barriers that prevent creative expression. With her bestseller, The Vein of Gold, also under her belt, Cameron has established herself as an authority in nurturing and recovering the creative soul. The Artist's Way is a beckoning call to artists and creative thinkers from all domains. Whether one is a seasoned professional or a newcomer, this book serves as a beacon of hope and motivation, especially to those who have faced discouragement or have been deterred from following their artistic ambitions. This episode is essential listening for anyone experiencing challenges in motivating their creative self or seeking to rekindle the sparks of imagination in their life's work. Join us as we unpack the wisdom of The Artist's Way, a book that promises to guide you along the path to artistic rejuvenation and personal fulfillment. The Artist's Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity Introduction Unlocking Your Hidden Creativity and Embracing the Artist Within Recall the joyous abandon with which you once approached a blank piece of paper, crayons in hand, ready to bring forth a world of colors and shapes. Think back to those quiet moments, under a veil of midnight, crafting stories that bubbled up from the wellspring of your imagination. Do these memories feel distant now? Has the vibrant thread of creativity that once wove through your everyday become frayed and obscured by life's relentless demands? If a sense of artistic yearning tugs at your soul, yet you find yourself lodged in the gears of a mundane nine to five, or perhaps you've bravely navigated the artist's path but frequently collide with invisible walls halting your progress, then there's hope and guidance for you yet. Imagine embarking on a 12-week journey to liberation, a carefully charted course designed to awaken and unleash the artist lurking within your spirit. Picture each week as a stepping stone across the chasm, separating you from your full creative potential. By giving attention to individual aspects of your artistic self, one by one, this transformative process promises to revive the creative instincts you may have thought were lost. Through this narrative, you'll unearth valuable insights such as the unexpected benefits of whisking yourself away on an artist's date, a solitary expedition of discovery and rejuvenation, the dangers posed by crazy makers, people whose chaos can infect and derail your artistic aspirations, how the concept of a higher power might intertwine with your creative pursuits, shaping narratives that mirror the timeless allure found in the best cinematic tales. Whether you seek guidance to mend your creative spirit or simply yearn to enrich your existing artistry, the principles laid out in this odyssey Hold the promise of rekindling the fire that can illuminate your unique path as an artist. Part 1. Awaken your creative spirit with morning pages and artist dates. Does your creative spark need a little kindling to become a full-blown flame again? Bid farewell to the daunting idea of tackling a grand project straight away. Instead, start with some simple yet powerfully effective rituals. First on the agenda the habit of penning morning pages. What are morning pages, you ask? Imagine starting your day not with the buzz of an alarm or the glow of a screen, but with the quiet meditative act of unleashing your thoughts onto paper. As the sun peeks over the horizon, sit down and just write. It doesn't matter if it's about your dreams, your doubts, or even the peculiar silence of dawn. It's all about the process. Your morning pages aren't meant for an audience or critique. They're your private conversation with the dawn, a sacred space where your thoughts can roam free from judgment. As you engage in this practice, 
strive to silence the inner critic that often censors our freest expressions. Let the analytical left side of your brain take a back seat and give the reins to your right side, the part that revels in colors, sounds, and whimsical ideas. This is not the time for perfection. It's a time for playful exploration, where misspelled words and sprawling tangents are celebrated signs of a mind in liberated motion. Beyond your daily writing ritual, there's the gift of an artist date, a standing weekly engagement between you and your creative soul. Picture this, two uninterrupted hours where the world's demands fade away, and all that matters is the meeting of your spirit with inspiration. Whether it's the rolling waves at the beach calling your name, the allure of an obscure art exhibit, or the simple pleasure of wandering through a garden, this date is your personal oasis of discovery. By nurturing these practices, you forge a deeper connection with the world within and around you. Each new experience, a different melody, an unseen street, or the scent of evening rain, becomes a thread woven into the tapestry of your inner artist. So take that unfamiliar path home, linger a while under the canopy of twilight skies, and let each novel scent and hue infuse your being with fresh inspiration. Remember, each curious step you take and each page you fill is a dance with your muse, a step closer to the boundless creativity that awaits your call. Part 2. Conquering Creative Demons and the Shadows of Doubt In the pursuit of a life rich with creativity, it's not just the obstacles we see that we must overcome. Sometimes, it's the specters of our past, the voices of discouragement, the ghosts of missed opportunities, that we must confront and vanquish. It's not uncommon for creative souls to encounter resistance, especially from those closest to us. Take the child with a flair for painting or a knack for melodies, whose ambitions are tempered by well-meaning parents worried about financial stability. The result? A shadow artist is born. Like a ghost, they drift through life, often excelling in their chosen practical career, but haunted by the art they did not embrace. Consider Edwin, a millionaire who discovered too late that his true calling was the art world, not the world of finance his father urged him toward. Instead of creating, he became a collector, filling the void left by his unfulfilled creative aspirations by surrounding himself with the work of others. Many shadow artists find themselves within arm's reach of their true passion. The would-be poet drafts copy for advertisements the dancer manages a fitness studio. They orbit the universe they long to inhabit, never daring to touch down upon its surface. If you've been nudged away from your craft, it's time to shed the negative labels and embrace the affirmative. Reject the notion that artists are flaky and affirm that artists are grounded in their purpose. Root out the sources of self-doubt that chain your creative spirit, those insidious thoughts that whisper, you're not good enough and shout back, I am more than enough. And beware the peril of the crazy maker, that devious individual who thrives by sapping the confidence and energy of emerging artists. Crazy makers can be charismatic and persuasive, often enjoying their own artistic success while undermining yours. They populate their worlds with the talents of others, casting long shadows over the creative light they are reluctant to share. Rise above these naysayers, these thieves of joy and self-assurance. It is essential to recognize and assert that your creativity is yours alone, to foster and command. Do not surrender it to those who might claim authority over it. Its journey is for you to chart, its triumphs for you to celebrate. Stand firm in your right to create and wield your artistry with confidence. Part 3 Embrace the emotional journey to rediscover your artistic passion. Venturing back into the realm of creativity after a long absence is akin to awakening a dormant part of your soul. It's a journey that promises rewards, but not without its share of emotional hurdles. You might think finding your way back to your creative core would be all about inspiration and joy, but the truth often resides in the murkier waters of our emotions delve into the depths of your creative self, and it's likely you'll stir up a torrent of feelings, both foreign and familiar. This process can be intimidating, 
and at times downright frightening. Yet, such emotional upheaval is often a sign that you're on the threshold of something transformative. Take anger, for example. It's fiery and uncomfortable, but within its heat lies a potent force for change. Imagine being so moved by an underwhelming performance on screen that you're brimming with conviction that you could do better. That anger isn't just frustration, it's a call to action, a catalyst pushing you towards realizing your own artistic visions. Harness that energy, write down those fervent thoughts, and use them as stepping stones to chase the goals they illuminate. As you re-engage with your creative work, you might also stir controversy or discomfort among those who witness it. Art that challenges, that dares to venture into contentious territories, may provoke backlash. Should you face such adversity, cling to your self-belief like a lifeline. Surround yourself with affirmations of your talent, like heartfelt commendations or positive feedback from previous successes. To buoy your spirits through a sea of criticism. But what of the inner battles, the fears that every artist contends with? Even prolific creators can quiver at the prospect of the blank page, the silent studio, the awaiting canvas. When creative blockages erect walls around your imagination, don't be shy about seeking external sparks. A prompt, a suggestion from a trusted colleague, a theme from an editor, these can serve as keys to unlock the gates of your creativity. Encountering resistance in the form of anger, negativity, and creative blocks is a signpost along the path of recovery, a testament to the fact that you are peering into the heart of your creative being. Stand steadfast in this journey and lean on practices like your morning pages to keep you tethered to the artistic voyage you have embarked upon. There's a wellspring of genius within you, waiting patiently for your return. Embrace the emotional odyssey that leads back to it. Part 4. Discovering ideas in the world around you and fostering their growth. Think of some of history's most enduring works of art. The stunning realism of David, carved from marble. Michelangelo, beholding the raw stone and seeing the hero within. Like a horticulturist who does not create the seed but cultivates the garden. The artist does not conjure ideas from the void, but discovers and nurtures them. Sift through the universe and its endless wonder, and you will find that it generously offers inspiration. Embracing this perspective liberates you from the shackles of creative block. The daunting mandate to generate brilliant ideas dissipates when you recognize that your role is that of a gardener, not a god. Ideas are the seeds scattered across the vastness of experience, and every creative endeavor, a symphony, a novel, a canvas brought to life, is the fruit of a seed found and carefully tended to. You provide the soil, the water, the sunlight. You attend to the idea with patience and resolve. The cosmos, in its boundless creativity, provides the rest. And if you care for these ideas with vigor and love, you might come to realize that a force greater than yourself guides your hand. Call it fate, destiny, or even God. Something seems to align the universe in favor of those who commit to their artistic quest with sincerity. Unlock your passion, and the tapestry of the cosmos shifts to reveal new paths, new collaborators, new chances. But remember, you remain the commander of your creative ship, steering through the waters of opportunity and challenge alike. The story of Kara, a writer bound to an unsupportive agent, embodies this truth. In the shadows of his reputation, she lingered until the day their relationship's toxicity grew too potent to ignore. With the courage to sever ties, she found herself in serendipitous alignment with a vibrant new agent, as though the universe at her call unveiled a companion better suited for her journey. This narrative is not a fairy tale. It's a testament to the creative spirit's resilience and the mysterious way the world responds to it. Each of us is entrusted with the tender care of ideas, those nascent sprouts yearning for the nourishment only we can provide. Tend to them and watch as both you and your art bloom like the grandest garden under a provident sky. 
Part 5. Let go of the need for perfection to liberate your creativity. Fear is like shackles on the feet of an aspiring artist. It can keep you from sprinting towards your creative goals and can trap you in a quagmire of self-doubt, even when you're on the verge of success. Often, the seeds of this fear are sown in our formative years, with a disheartening word from someone we looked up to, such as a parent or teacher. However, not all fear is externally imposed. Sometimes, we are our own worst critics. Setting unattainable goals, for instance, deciding to pen the next great novel during a week-long holiday, sets us up for failure. When we inevitably fall short of these impossible standards, we are besieged by negative emotions, regret, jealousy, self-reproach. These feelings strangle our creativity, diminishing our confidence and making it daunting to even consider starting anew. Perfectionism is a relentless taskmaster. But there are other insidious habits that can undermine your creativity just as effectively. One of these is workaholism. Certain individuals, faced with the powerful surge of creative energy, find themselves caught in a frenetic cycle of overworking. If you envision creativity as divine energy coursing through us, it's easy to understand why some pour themselves into their work in a desperate attempt to harness it. Yet, ironically, workaholism achieves the opposite of its intended aim. When you're working incessantly, there's little space left to let that energy manifest and transform naturally into ideas and art. A tranquil mind is a playground for inspiration. Let yours rest and wander instead of chaining it to a relentless work wheel. Then there's the trap of competitiveness, a distracting force that skews your focus to the unhelpful and often unkind. It's the voice that whispers enviously, why was his screenplay greenlit and not mine? Instead of surrendering to comparison, pivot to questions that foster growth. Ask yourself, did I make progress on my screenplay today? This shift towards self-assessment rather than external comparison nurtures your craft and reinforces a healthy, creative environment, free from the stifling grip of fear. Part 6. Fostering self-confidence to release your inner artist. In the artistic world, self-assurance is not just an asset, it's a necessity. The journey to reclaim your dormant artistic side must begin with a pilgrimage into your past, a quest to unearth and understand the barriers that have eroded your self-confidence. Embark on a voyage of introspection. Revisit memories, those turning points where your sense of self may have faltered. They could be monumental or seemingly trivial. Whether it's the sting of a criticism you received on your artwork in elementary school or a more recent professional setback, place these moments under the microscope, for it's only through confronting and acknowledging past wounds that we can begin to mend them. As you work to rebuild your confidence, harness the power of your imagination. Close your eyes and envision an idyllic day dedicated entirely to your creative pursuits. Reflect on the intricate details. How does the morning sun warm your studio? What masterpieces have coalesced under your hands by twilight? This exercise of picturing your ultimate productive day not only stirs your desires, but also reinforces the belief that such achievements are within your grasp. Couple those visualizations with affirmations, those potent positive phrases that serve as a balm for the spirit. Reiterate them to yourself. Let them be your mantras. I am brimming with talent. My creativity is boundless. I contribute unique beauty to the world. Speak these truths and let them resonate within to buttress your artist's soul. Cultivate habits that counter frustration and self-criticism. If disappointment bubbles up when your day's progress falls short of your expectations, pause. Take a breath steeped in realism and set achievable goals for the remainder of your day. It's about pacing rather than racing to the finish line. Don't forget to indulge in life's smaller pleasures too. Infuse your environment with fragrances that lift your mood. Don apparel that makes you feel invincible even on an ordinary day. And surround yourself with affirmative notes that remind you of your worth. Embrace this holistic approach. And soon you'll find that the creative flow you've been yearning for 
will start to surge through you once more, as natural and unstoppable as a river breaking through a dam. Final summary. Unleashing the full spectrum of your creative prowess is no mean feat, but it's a path open to all, paved with intention and self-discovery. The pursuit need not be overwhelming. Begin with manageable actions. Immerse yourself in writing morning pages to catch the whispers of your inner voice. Quench your curiosity by delving into the unfamiliar and whisk your artistic spirit away on solo dates. This journey inward is the starting block for a marathon of self-expression. As you align more with your inner vision, nurturing the seeds of ideas scattered by the universe and discarding the shackles of perfectionism and needless competition, you'll witness a renaissance of your artistic self. Foster self-confidence with reflection, positive affirmations, and the embrace of simple joys, and you'll see the artist within blossoming. Take this to heart. Creativity isn't reserved for the select few. It's a realm where everyone is welcome. So start simple, stay committed, and you'll rediscover the vibrant creative energy that has been waiting patiently for you to reclaim it. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.